Hey there, young mathematicians. Welcome back to our channel where maths is always exciting and fun. Today, we're going on an incredible journey to discover the story of a magical number called pi. Are you ready? Let's get started. Imagine a circle like a pizza or a bicycle wheel. No matter how big or small the circle is, there's a special number we can get from it which always stays the same. This number is called pi and it's approximately 3.14. But the truth is pi never ends. It's an irrational number, which means its decimal places go on forever. Now you might be wondering, how did we discover pi? The story of pi began thousands of years ago in ancient civilizations like Egypt and Babylon. People noticed that when they measured the distance around a circle, the circumference, and divided it by the distance across the middle of the circle, the diameter, they always got the same number. What was that number? You guessed it, it was pi. Let's travel back in time to ancient Egypt around 1650 years BC. Here we find an Egyptian scribe who wrote a document known as the Rind Papyrus. In this papyrus, he approximated pi to be about 3.1605. Not bad for such a long time ago, right? Fast forward to ancient Greece in approximately 250 BC, where the famous mathematician Archimedes made an important discovery about pi. He showed that pi was somewhere between 3 and 10 over 71 and 3 and a seventh. So that's approximately 3.1408 and 3.1428 in decimal form. Even though we now know pi to trillions of digits, Archimedes' work was a significant step forward. The symbol we use for pi was introduced by the Welsh mathematician William Jones in 1706, but it was a prolific Swiss mathematician Leonard Euler who popularised the symbol later in the 18th century. Since then, pi has been the symbol we all know and love. Did you know there's a special day dedicated to celebrating Pi? That's right, on March the 14th, we celebrate Pi Day. But why on this day? Because the date 314 matches the first three digits of Pi, 3.14. On this day, people have fun with Pi related activities like reciting as many digits of Pi as they can, or even eating delicious pies. Pi isn't just a cool number we learn about in maths class. It's actually everywhere. Suppose a farmer has a circular field with a diameter of 50 metres. The farmer wants to build a fence around the whole circumference of the field. How much fence does he need? Well, we know that circumference divided by diameter equals pi. Therefore, the circumference equals pi times diameter, which equals 3.14 times 50, which equals 157 metres. So the farmer needs 157 metres of fence. So there you have it, the fantastic story of pi. It's a number that has fascinated mathematicians for thousands of years and is still super important today. Remember, maths is all around us and it's full of exciting adventures like the story of pi. Now it's your turn to explore the world of maths and maybe even discover your own fantastic stories. Keep learning, have fun, and don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel for more exciting maths adventures. See you next time, young mathematicians.